my Marvel fans out there. It's your boy Dark Light coming right back at you with another review of Captain America and Winter Soldier. Well, pretty much this is just a review wrap up of the full season. So, man, not too long ago, I just got done watching The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh, let me correct that Captain America and the Winter Soldier. This boy Marvel has been on a tear with their their movies and TV shows. Even though we only got two TV shows, one division and Fal- the Falcon and Winter Soldier, and they have hit so much with it. But this whole series has been roller coaster ride. For me, anyway. And it's been so much fun. has been extremely great to see. And at, there's season six has wrapped up perfectly for it to lead up into. Because it has been confirmed that Captain America 4 is pretty much, yeah going to happen so this this is a w- nice way to end this series in case you end up doing a season two but it was a nice wrap-up story to john walker because at first he was just a straight up butthole asshole for the rest for this whole move for this whole show but to see him at a point where he had to make a decision on Chasing down Carly or saving those people, the government, as much as they kind of like threw him to the wolves in a way. His little quick redemption story was perfect. Well, not perfect, but it was it was okay. It's a decent redemption story for him, especially for him to become the U.S. agent. So I'm liking that story. Uh, I'm liking his turn of event. It's not like he's complete. He pretty much they basically it basically just said, okay, I'm done with this Captain America. I'm throwing down the shield, basically to save the government. And seeing Sam in his new Captain America suit, oh my gosh! But this whole series has. And pretty much a redemption story for uh, Bucky. You know, he, pretty much his therapist had been Sam, pretty much. He helped him out a lot in this series. Then to get a bunch of things with Sam, you learn a lot through Sam's train of thought of being a black man in America, basically. When nobody do it. Mm, nope. But it shows that no matter what, he knows who he is. He is who he is. And he's going to continue to fight. Whether it's for himself, for others, or what. He's going to continue to fight. And I'm surprised that they didn't do the same thing as they did to... uh, what as Isaiah, what they did to him. Because he got it. Well, he didn't steal the suit, so... And he couldn't have, well, he could technically say they he stole S.H.I.E.L.D. But I love this whole series. This series has been perfectly, to me, it, they really don't even have to do like a season two to this. This was, has been the perfect drama series ever. And this is dealing with superheroes. Marvel has tore it up. Tore it down and brought it all around. Almost. Because they still got other characters going on. Um, but this is really pushing me to look forward to Captain America 4. If they do a season 2. And Loki, the Loki series. And pretty much what they're going to do for later on movies. With the new Cap. With the new crew. Um, but this, this whole series has been very interesting. We have had truth lies uh denies 
and it pretty much brought in reality for what goes on now in the real world and mixed it in with superheroes. And in a way, a lot of us are pretty much out there fighting a good fight, to be honest with you. <laughs> Whether it's in the background or out there in the, or the front, or, or forefront. Um, there's not really much I can say. That I just love the series. I love the dynamic between Bucky and Sam. I hope to see those two continue. Now, and I love the... You can tell also, too, that watching how we first meet Sam all the way up to now, his change in his suit showed a lot of character development here. Even even the same goes for Bucky. You know, I, he pretty much, the Winter Soldier being corrupted and all of that, and it goes now to a whole new stage of now he's trying, he's looking for redemption. He's looking for that person not to hate him, I guess, in a way where if he apologizes for it, he don't want to be hated for it because, you know, it really wasn't him. He was pretty much in a way of being controlled, but he could stop it. Seeing that, seeing how he was able to come out openly to the father of that of that kid that he killed, and his explanation. Well, they only gave him a small, quick explanation, saying, "You know, it was a long time ago. It wasn't me. Technically, it wasn't. It's just he was control. He was pretty much brainwashed, controlled, and seeing how." He was able to come at peace with himself. The book, he was able to pretty much do everything, scratch out all the names. It'd be at the point where now he's fully grasping. He's not the Winter Soldier no more. He's the White Wolf. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he had his own story. And to see how a lot of this has changed in this, uh, I'm happy to see Bucky. Hope to see more of Bucky. Sam, in a way, I hope he can do a lot of changes in his in the world through this through this series of movies and shows and stuff. I hope to see more. Now, to me, the, seeing how we got the Incredible Hulk movie, Iron Man movie, and all that, all the way to now. Mm -hmm. Marvel, I believe Marvel cannot do no wrong. Not right now. Now, you probably have one or two, three, maybe four, five movies that were bad, but they were, they were there to push a story. I can literally see how Marvel, ha they're, they're learning. It's like they got so many different people that can bring up so many different things in the world in, in their movies. They have so much stuff from their comic, you know, all the information they can have from their comics added to reality with superheroes in reality and still keep a story going. But yeah, I love this. Now we actually, spoiler alert, if y'all haven't seen the series yet, um, it, to see where this goes now with Zemo, because we got a chance to see the raft and figure out that he, that his henchman, his butler, killed all a few remaining of the sm the what you call the smashers the I forgot what they call them, the smashers uh to see that they that he killed a few of them and then seeing Carly's story. I don't know really how to feel with Carly. Because in a way, toward the end, she's, you can tell she started to slip away and not be herself. Because if she, like, early on, she's taking the serum, the super serum serum. So we all know that the super serum changes you on the inside. And sooner or later, it was explained by Zemo that she would have to die so, in a way, 
Yeah. She was changing to be the next corrupt villain. I mean, that's... And Sam explained that to the government that if a teen, if a teenager can do this, sooner or later, there's going to be more if you're not doing the right thing. You're trying to take the easy way out. Take the hard road for once in your life. The easy way doesn't really always get you somewhere. It's always creating a, a new villain. Pretty much what Tony was doing. Nah, pretty much. I wouldn't say what Tony was doing. Because I don't think Tony was taking always taking the easy way out. He probably was. I, I would have to literally like go back into the movies and watch them again. Because if, I don't know, it probably is not like he was taking the easy way out. But, you know, he... He made created a lot of villains through his decisions. So it also shows that the government is doing the same thing, basically in a way. Whether they take the easy road and not help people and, you know, try to be like, hey, if you want this world to be, you want America to be great or all of that, you got to help all of us. And it showed a lot. So I love the series. I would have to literally give this whole series a 10 out of 10. I know this is, wasn't really a review. This was just my quick thoughts on it. But I love it. And now, what's her name? We finally find out the power broker, who the power broker is. Now, I want to see how this story goes. What made her change completely? Because of the simple fact she was a part of the uh what you call it she was a part of the government at first an agent and somehow she leaves she, she's following a dark path off screen because I want to try to get more of her story what happened from that time on she got fired at the time now I hope she ain't changed because she fell in love with Cap and Cap wouldn't give her none or something. You know, it's a love triangle situation going on. Like, you know what I mean? I hope that didn't happen. <laughs> Which, I doubt it. I doubt it. But I want to get more story on what's, what happened with Sarah. Was she was always a villain from the beginning? Was she always helping people from under the radar from by, because she was part of the government? Because now it also makes me believe in a way. Did she help? Any of the uh, villains in the past? Especially when we got to uh, Captain America the, in Winter, the Winter Soldier movie. And, you know, Nick. Uh, what's his name? Nick Fury. He was attacked by the Winter Soldier. So, did she, some way in a way, help out? Do she know? Is Zemo in a way teaming up with her? I want to get more on Sarah in a way. I, I hope they kind of push her story a little bit more because I want to know what corrupted her and what changed her just like that. Uh, so, but yeah, I this this whole show was a 10 out of 10. I loved it. I'm going to probably watch, this is going to probably be, this whole season will probably be the most rewatched season of all, beyond One Division. One Division was fun. This was more of just serious drama section right here. Disney, to me, Disney and Marvel, y'all cannot do no wrong. I'm sorry. People going to probably be out there be like, yeah, this is SJW and all that. Y'all need, that need to be cut out because of the simple fact that y'all want to try to keep these superheroes in comic book era, era, era their comic booky arrows and stuff, you know. If that's the case, go back to reading the comics <laughs> because of the simple fact that they have already showed that you're bringing superhero into reality. If y'all ain't got to that point where y'all are accepting it now, then I feel like that you probably never would. And I don't think, because I guarantee you, honestly, a lot, a lot of people probably watch it and then do reviews on it and try to bring it down. You ain't doing nothing but make it, boosting it up. 
making more and more people they hear your reviews, more people want to watch to see it, and then they get different reviews on it. So I am black, so this was probably one of the best series to me. One of the best shows, superhero property, or whatever you want to call it. So but I am Dark Light. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, y'all please subscribe, become a part of the Worldly Angels. And I will catch you guys next time. Cheerio.